introducing the new Cadence CR10 12 foot barbell rods. And Des Taylor was heavily involved in the development of these rods. Thank you very much, Des. Been a pleasure, mate. As I mentioned, they're both 12 foot, they're two piece, and they're available in two test curves. We've got a one and three quarter pound test curve and a two pound test curve. I think I'll just take us through some of the key specs about these rods. So the blank itself is made from a, a beautiful high modulus carbon blank. Very, very strong, very, very powerful. It's got a lovely progressive action. We've got a Fuji reel seat and these Fuji K guides throughout. And you really like these, don't you, Des? Yeah, they're a strong. I like the, the, the three legs. I think they're strong. And, and, you know, as a barbell angler, you might be doing stalking in a stalking bag. And, you know, the single legs can tend to bend up. And, you know, they're very, very strong. I think these K guides have proved very popular now. They're quite a new guide. And another advantage of them is the fact that the, the way they're angled reduces the line wrapping around. So when you're casting, you don't get that wrap around. And... Well, especially with the gap now on, you know, modern day anglers for casting distance don't want the amount of rings. And as soon as you take the amount of rings, that's when you get that big loop. And these rings stop that. Superb. We're really pleased with the quality of the cork on the handles. You've got a full cork handle. And another key feature for you, Des, which you insisted on, was the glaze tip. So tell us about that. Well, I, I think it's fair to say that most barbel anglers or people that you know talk about barbel fishing will expect the bite to be this enormous big pull over which it is generally it is but in between times a tip can tell you a lot of things whether you're having liners etc and that, that just catches your eye you know you're looking around the, the river you're looking for fish you're looking at wild animals or whatever and if you just see that 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 just bang, you can just, it just takes the pressure off the eyes really. Yeah, and you're just getting that little bit of extra information all the time. All the, the time, the, yeah. tip, the tip's telling you everything that's going on in the swim. Absolutely great. We've given the one and three quarter pound version a maximum reel rating of 15 pound. Yeah. And the two pound version up to 20 pound. It's obviously a rough guide and that's gonna, that's gonna be more than enough for most barbell oh, situations, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very much so. And it's fair to say with these Fuji K guides, uh, the rods are suitable for both braid and mono situations. So Des, um, tell us a bit about the two test curves that you've selected and developed for us. We've got the 1.75 that you're using today. Yeah, what, what I tend to, to tell people about them, you know, barbell fishing all around the country, whether it be on big rivers like the Thames or the Trent, or on smaller rivers, if you can call it small, the, the seven. What I tend to do is I use a 175 for the smaller river, which is not, a, I mean, it's, it's not that small a river, but beautiful uh, progressive action, fishing in close, yeah. not such big leads. Yeah. But then if you want to fish for bigger fish, yeah. nearer snags, or chuck a lead a long way, then I'd go for the two pounder. Yeah. You know, it's a beefed up version, still progressive. And, and to be perfectly honest, you know, the two pounder is still nice to play five and six pound barbel, which is your average fish. They're not all yeah. 15, 16 pound. If you don't enjoy a five or six pound barbel, then what's the point of having a fishing rod? Absolutely. You know? And so they, they are lovely rods for playing the fish. Um, I think a, a good point to mention as well is the cosmetics. I think these barbel rods, absolutely, they've got a kind of classic design, but they're, they're absolutely beautiful. So. Well, I remember you saying uh, that I said it would be lovely to make them somewhere different and you, and you bought that blank out yeah. at Evesham yeah. and said, look at this colour. And I immediately went, oh my life, that's beautiful. It's, it's, it's really traditional yeah. and yet looks beautiful. Well, Des, I've really got to thank you again for all your input in helping me develop these fantastic rods. In the street. We've got all the specs and information on our website, so that includes uh, price as well. So we'll put that link on the end of the video. Thank you very much.